ហើយគ្រប់ជម្រាបសួរពុកម៉ែបងប្អូនអំពូមិញដែលកំពុងទស្សនានៅក្នុងអឺគាត់ចាំដីគេអញ្ចឹងណាអំពូមិញបាទអញ្ចឹងអំពូមិញបងប្អូនណាកំពុងតាមដានទស្សនានៅក្នុងជ័រណលរបស់អឺបងប
I'm not sure. And my husband asked him to give him $200 a month, but he only give 20,000 reals a day, but sometimes don't have any pay. How do you get your 20,000 reals a day? Yes, he sent it by the truck driver that they loaned the metal here. Oh, you get 20,000 real from the truck driver. Yeah, sometime it's the time to getting paid. And then he give my husband the, the money. Instead of that, he let my husband loan 50,000 real. I don't understand. Do you have the salary? No, it's not the salary. I just work every day at one day 20,000 real. It's not enough 20,000 real. And one kilo of rice is 2,400. So I only bought a few kilo. And then if they run out, I don't have something to eat. And sometimes they gave me some. And sometimes I didn't have any food at all left over. So uh, someone, they gave me like two or dry noodles. And then I eat with my husband. I'm pretty poor and have nothing around here. It's not enough, though very low income for me. Do you think if you have opportunity, do you want to start a little local business, like selling fish, selling kind of vegetable, and sell everything like everybody else sell to get the better light than you are now? Sure, I want to do it, but I don't have any money to start it, it's so hard. Yeah, I saw you plant some vegetables around uh, your home. That it helping you some? Yes, it helped me some, but I cannot grow a whole lot. Why you cannot grow a whole lot? Because this land is not my land. I only grow little at a time. Uh, how about put this way, when you grow, uh, a lot of them are your vegetable, and you ask the owner, owner of this land, and telling them you can give some to them. Can you do that? That's a good idea too. I will ask the owner of this land, will ask him, can I plant something, uh, doing the farming, some the little garden, and I can earn some profit, but I'm not sure I'm going to get the permission from him and if he let me do that, it's so great. If you give me a good idea to start this thing, it might be help my family some. Thank you. Thank you very much, brother and sister, and to give me some time to interview you because I got some money donated by people live in USA. They are Cambodian too. They contribute this money to me, and I'm searching for who need help. And then I found your family here. Then I have $25 from Mrs. Ree, and thank you very much for her help and to solve all kind of this problem uh, with you guys right now. And you guys have something to say to her? Uh, thank you very much and stay healthy and wealthy. I do not know how to say much. Okay, only I really I'm so happy. <laughs> Hi, my goals again. You can hear all the story that when they're interviewed by Putak. He travel all over across the country. He's my team. I live in US and he live in Cambodia. We try to help the best we can. We're working hard on it. If you guys like it, want to help, please share the video. And if you want to support my channel, my work channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click notification bell to get new video upload every 6 p.m. at Central Time. Thank you very much for your support and if you will like you, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye now, you guys have a great day.